Hello everybody, it is time for another Minecraft tutorial and today I'm going to be showing how to make a redstone clock or if you don't know what a redstone clock is, it's a simple function of making automated redstone machines basically, uh, automated functions that repeat without any further intervention from the user. Anytime you want to make a redstone machine that repeats an action over and over and over again, redstone clocks tend to be the basis of this and they're pretty simple. Uh, what you'll need is a redstone repeater, which you can find that in your crafting table, some redstone, and you'll need a block, a stone block, just might have to be cobblestone, I'll check in a moment, and a redstone torch. As you can see, my inventory is always very full, but the way it works is, first of all, you want to just get yourself a nice big loop of redstone. It's easiest to show this in stages. Now you want to make your circuit big if you've got room. You can cramp these into pretty small spaces, but you want to make this fairly large if you've got the room because you want to make a complete circuit. Now with normally with redstone, if you wanted to power something, the way this would work is, uh, hold on. Very prepared today. The way this would work is you would connect something to the circuit. So, there we go, let's get a little, oh, those are blocks. I'm being very, very dumb today. There we go, redstone powder. I'm sitting here thinking you can break these down. I'm normally more brief than this, but basically the way this normally works is if you want to power something in redstone, you have a couple of options, right? You can put your redstone lamp down, say, we're gonna use a lamp because it's nice and simple. Put your lamp down, put a torch next to it, boom, your lamp comes on. But what if you wanna have a more long distance system? You can have a circuit like this, connect your torch to the circuit, and the lamp goes on. But what if you want a repeating function? So basically what you want to do is whatever you're trying to power, you want it to power on, off, on, off. This would be if you wanted the lamp to go on and off or if you wanted a piston to repeatedly push something. If you want to just have a simple automated function. For this, you need a redstone clock. Now, the way you start doing this is pretty simple. You need to make a thing called a redstone inverter. And redstone inverters are, they're a bit of an unusual system in that they are, uh, a little a little counterintuitive and it's a block with a redstone torch on the side now if we connect this circuit up that's currently powered because uh, the circuit is connected but what a redstone inverter does is it detects if the circuit connecting into it has power and it changes it so if it's off it turns it on if it's on it turns it off if you make that in a big loop what you get is it goes uh, oh hold on it goes uh, on off on off on off on off let me just reconnect this Oh, I've made my circuit a little big. Hold on. Master of tutorials here, as you can tell. Let's just make this circuit a little smaller. Because there's a limit to how far redstone will travel. Dear me making all the mistakes today. I've made this much too big, actually. There we go. Now, you could fix this with a repeater, but I actually just want to show the, uh, I want to show the function of this first so that you guys can see how it works before we put the repeater in. Just to kind of show you how this works. Let me just make this a little smaller. I spread it out because I was thinking about keeping it nice and clean, but actually... Put the link there. Right, here we go. It has to go into the back. This is going very badly today, isn't it? Maybe I'm doing this the wrong way around. Hold on. Or maybe it's because this needs to be cobblestone. Could be. I always make these with cobblestone. It's actually me being really dumb here. Huh. It's not working. It's kind of weird. I made one of these yesterday. It would be when I do... When I need to just put one together... Nice and convenient. I can't do it. There we go. Sorry, I was making these just a little too long. Now, as you can see, 
When you make them nice and short like that, that's it. It was running out of uh, steam before it got to the end. When you make them a little bit too long, <laughs> apparently that's what they do. But if I just make this and pop this down and uh, drop it on, you'll see where we need the repeater. Uh, when you make one, they go too fast immediately. And then they burn out. Uh, pretty quickly. So the reason you need the repeater is repeaters also function as delays. So if you put one in here, I think that's the right way around. Nope, need to go the other way around. Uh, you want to go so that the repeater is pointing away from the flow of the torch. And then you can pop a delay in. And you need that delay so they don't burn out. And now you've made yourself a light that blinks on and off. If it's blinking too quickly, you can just add another repeater to this stage of the sequence. And you'll find that you, uh, you are increasing the delay, essentially. And then if you want, what you can also do is if you connect to a different sense of the circuit. So if you see this bit's on, then it's off. This bit's on, then it's off. If you actually add a different uh, a connection from a different point of the circuit, you can put another lantern on here. And now you have an alternate lighting system. So if you want a machine that does one stage, then the next stage. So if you want something to go on, off, on, off, on, off, you've got that. But if you also want a two-stage system, you can make it with that. And this is basically the fundamental uh, principle of every repeating redstone machine, this redstone clock. And I'm going to take the... Let's take this back there. Sorry about the delay there at the beginning, but that is basically how these work. There you go. And it is, it's the cobblestone and it has to be the right size. I th maybe it doesn't have to be cobblestone, I don't know. Uh, should, let's, let's try it now without the cobblestone, just to see. I think it was mostly about the size. Okay, yeah. It doesn't have to be cobblestone. Uh, it can be normal stone, but it's, don't make them too big. That's what we did earlier. That was my mistake. I made them too large. Uh, but there you go, that's your redstone clock. Uh, and whatever machine you want to make, that's basically part of that function. So any other machine that works with redstone, uh, if you, if you put it onto the build like that, uh, that's how you make basically redstone machines that use repeating functions without any further interference from the user. Uh, and that's pretty simple. There you go. Thank you for watching. If this was useful for you, I will, uh, I hope you leave a like and I'll see you all next time.